creating an XLX zone channels and talk groups is really easy. Here are the instructions I followed and what I did for my NATONE 878 to work. Regardless of your DMR radio, the procedure is the same. Your code plug may be different, but let's proceed. Here are some of the screenshots to help make it sense. XLS talk groups needed are A through Z, or 4001 to 4026. But you have to make sure that all these A through Z, or 4001 to 4026, are set as private calls. In my XLX zone channels, I added a receive and disconnect channel every six channels or so to make switching easier. That way I didn't have to rotate all the way back up the uh, 26 or 27 channels um, <laughs> but regardless of the XLX server you're going to use or choose they all have the same 26 channels A through Z a lot of them only use B, D and A or something like that that combination so there's if you do the math 26 times say a thousand uh, you know different uh, XLX reflectors uh, there's a lot of groups you can talk to. In 878 software, the CPS, I went to the digital tab, contacts, then I created these talk groups. That's what they are. Six is for receive, 6500 is status, 6401, because we have to add the number six in front of it, for the Pi Star to reconfigure, reroute it. It's a rewriting configuration. So A is 4001, and way down at the bottom, Z is 4026. Excuse the uh, TGIF channels I added in on a whim uh, while I was doing something. I don't know why, but uh, anyway, so you're just going to have the uh, receive channel, the status channels, and A through Z in your contacts. Save that and. Uh, Get over to a channel section. So in my 878, this could be any any tone, any radio. It's just however your code plug, your CPS is set up. I created channels. The first one, XLX receive six. That's the one you're gonna have to key up on. The status receive again. Then I went through A through F, and then I had to disconnect and receive. So I don't have to go all the way back to the bottom of the list or top of the list, however far down you are. And this is how I did mine. You can do yours like this. You don't have to. You can do it differently. You could put a receive and a status each end or somewhere in the middle, however you decide. But basically, that's what you're going to have for channels for your XLX zone. So we're going to go into our Pi Star configuration page. Underneath DMR configuration, I have DMR Plus network enabled. We're going to do that video eventually. But you're going to have XLX Master enable. I turned that on. I set my master reflector, XLX reflector, to 950. Maybe you like 410. Maybe you like 369. The uh, King County group out of New York. You can change it. Uh, the only problem with changing that is you do have to come back into the Pi Star software to change your XLX master, but that's the only drawback to using XLX. So once you've made those changes, hit apply changes. Your Pi Star hotspot will reset. Go back to your dashboard, and here's the procedure you're gonna follow. Here's a screenshot of my Pi Star dashboard. So now we see an all green upper Top left hand corner, modes enabled, DMR, DMR mode, DMR net, DMR to an XDN. We go down to the bottom, we see that XLX 410A, Brandmeister, DMR to an XDN, TGIF, I have the Prime and the Legacy, even though they merged. And then down at the bottom in the bright green, you have the NXDN where we have it set up. So, should be good to go. Some of these digital modes go against every grain that we're told not to throw a dead key over the radio. Well, hopefully you're just transmitting into your Pi Star hotspot, not creating RF hash and havoc over a large system. So you're going to go to your receive if you're changing from, say, TGIF to XLX. Do a quick key up 
on the receive channel to switch systems on the Pi Star Hotspot. Look at your screen, make sure it's changed. Then go to the channel A through Z after you've selected which XLX reflector you want and just push to talk for five seconds. Now you go back to the receive channel and you're ready to talk away with whoever your friends are on there or new hams, new acquaintances until your heart's content. And there we go. We're all ready to key up and talk on XLX. Talk group A. Or talk group 4001. Uh, yeah, I just heard you give a quick call. I was actually testing the uh, module for transcode. Here on my PiStar dashboard, if you follow the yellow line on an angle, you can see we had a communication with K9 WLW. So it's working, everything's great, and that's about as simple as it is.